the egg attack. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Heiser Says. I thought today we'd talk about the assault on Fraser Anning, where someone smacked an egg on the back of his head. Let's have a look at the footage. So I'll just play this here. Their own, uh... So, we'll watch it again. We'll watch it again. Their own, uh... So you can see the young guy behind him smacks the head, and look at him, he's staring into his phone, filming it. Oh yeah. Smacks him on the back of the head. He turns around, slaps him in the side of the head. And they're going at each other. Okay, so... And then of course there's a scuffle and, and people hold him down until the cops turn up. Let's, let's read through this article and a few other things I want to talk about because this may shock you. But Australians attacking politicians with eggs. There's some precedent there. So, this is from the Northwest Telegraph. Controversial Queensland Senator Fraser Anning hits minor after being egged during an interview. Just, just think of the framing of that. I mean, he slapped him. He didn't punch him. He slapped him. And he's 17 years old. So, the guy knows what he's doing. He was doing it with all intention to express his political frustration at Anning. You know, so he got a bit of a smack in the face. I mean, it's probably going to be the better for him. Both of them, they should have a beer afterwards. Too bad he's too young. Controversial Queensland Senator Fraser Anning has been caught on camera hitting a teenager in the face twice after the boy cracked an egg on the back of his head during an interview. The tweet posted by ABC reporter Henry Bellot at 1.34pm today, which was yesterday, is rapidly gaining views after an ang angry public recoiled from a series of insensitive anti-Islamic tweets the senator posted in response to the Christchurch mosque massacre. Now, the more I follow or hear or see about Anning, you know, even just his tweets online or his public statements, I get the feeling he doesn't quite know how to pace or lead the public at all not at all and he's making some blunders if you want to look at an example if you want to learn more about seeing politicians who pace and lead look at look at the orange man look at trump watch some of scott adams uh, podcasts on, on a periscopes on it just where he explains it all and you know literally pulls it apart and it's quite impressive anning doesn't have those skills he does not at all he's as blunt as a as an outback hotel owner which is what he was. So let's keep back to the article. In the video, the 17-year-old boy can be seen filming Anning from behind as he's interviewed before cracking the offending egg on the back of his head. Mr. Anning recoils and turns to face the teen before hitting him in the face. Onlookers leap to restrain the angry senator, yet he manages to get a second slap in before being pulled away. I mean, this isn't a statesman act to do that, but it's something that everyone would respond to. If someone came up and, you know, put an egg in the back of your head, you'd, you'd be naturally angry and you'd respond in kind. You don't know what they're putting on you. i uh, sure it's schoolyard antics, but that's schoolyard behavior too from a little 17-year-old child, poor little child. But they'd probably want to give him the vote on the left side of politics anyway, so then he'd be a man. So anyway, arms are strained, a serious, uh, sorry, a still furious Mr. Anning kicking his leg at the boys until he was wrestled to a safe distance and the video cut. The tweet has accumulated more than 2 million views so far and climbing, generating quite a response, response among the public, with most in favour of the team. Okay, uh, what, what do you think? Let me know in the comment. Do you think the teen's behaviour is appropriate? Do you think Anning's behaviour is appropriate? Frankly, I think neither of their behaviour is appropriate, but given the circumstances and what happened, you know, whoop de doo Not the hero we asked for, but the hero we deserved. Oh... Oh, boy. At Death Whistles tweeted, while another retro Virgo said, I hope Anning goes to prison for taking a swing at the Egg King. Wow. See, these people are begging for an authoritarian state. Is that what they want? Do they want, do they want people to go to jail? The guy was released, you know? I, Anning should not press charges. He should not. If he was smart, he wouldn't press charges. Try and reconcile with him somehow. But William on side, but I don't know. A tweet at Iborg Ward 
shows the scene from behind. So, you know, this is it from behind. Is that the kid who filmed it or someone else? Why would you film that angle? More eggs, please. Other tweets show the team being wrestled to the ground by the center to supporters. One particularly disturbing post by investigative journalist Paul Barry shows a close-up of the terrified boy being held in a headlock and told, mate, you are nothing but a weak effing human being. Well, what do you do? You, you, what do you expect? You know, the teenager was arrested but later free without charge. Mr. Anning is yet to make a statement or can, can comment on social media about the incident. So I just checked his social media and I couldn't find any updates. But there are already calls from a Sydney prominent lawyer who wants Anning charged for hitting the protester. Okay, so for... I mean, think about it. He was attacked from behind. From behind. The kid didn't approach him from the front, attacked him from behind. So you have psychological defense mechanisms that'll kick in then from if you're attacked from behind. When you're designing as an architect, when you design a space, you want to be, you want to design it such that people can observe. You can observe people approaching you, and people can have a safe corner or a safe haven to retreat into, depending on what you're designing. So, you know, I and so I can completely understand why he acted the way he did, particularly because it was an attack from the back. High-profile criminal lawyer demands police charge Senator Anning for hitting a protester who egged him and offers to represent the boy for free. Oh, how nice. How nice. A high-profile criminal lawyer, and apparently this lawyer is well known for defending terrorists, so, you know, it's in his interest to stir up annoyance and make money. And, yeah, oh, I'm glad this isn't the way it works. The day lawyers start telling the police who to arrest worries me. A high-profile lawyer has called for Senator Fraser Anning to be charged after he took a swipe at a protester who egged him during a press conference. A heated confrontation between Mr. Anning and a 17-year-old was caught on camera on Saturday after the boy broke an egg on the senator's head. In the footage from the event in, in uh, Murrumbin, Melbourne, the independent Queensland senator appears to have slapped the boy across the face multiple times. Well, I, I thought it was twice. We just saw the footage. Adam Huda, a lawyer who has defended men charged with terrorist-related offences in the past, okay, is now demanding, demanding, because it's the lawyers who control the law in this country, isn't it? Sorry to all the lawyers watching, but guys, is demanding Mr. Anning face charges for his actions. Well then, see, the problem is he'd, he will happily, this guy, will happily throw the young kid, the young boy, under the bus for his own political preferences and ambitions. I bet you that's what this is. Could you imagine wanting to drag the kid through the court system, through the legal system for all of this stuff? That would be a nightmare. Psychologically, that would be terrible. If anything, they should just shake hands. He should apologize to Anning, and Anning should apologize back. That's what should happen. That is what should happen, not dragging this crap through the laws. Because remember what happened in, in America when we had a certain uh, manga hat-wearing Catholic boy at a pro-life rally, you know, smirking. At someone banging a drum at his face. And there were all these lefties calling for him to be assaulted. All on Twitter everywhere. And I know that's America. But you... I mean, who wants to... Lawyers. Of course, lawyers love this shit. They want to go through the legal system and all of that. But normal people don't. Okay? They don't. So I feel sorry for the kid. On Twitter, the high-profile lawyer said it was clear case of assault on a child. Oh, he's a child now. He's a child. I don't know. If you got the balls to, to go up to an event... Oh, look how they're pausing it there. Oh. <laughs> he still holds onto his phone, though. Okay? He still manages to hold onto his phone for the entire event, the entire assault. So, he's okay. You know? And they're calling him a child. But, he, you know, it's good... I mean, in some ways, it takes a bit of bravery to do that, to go and whack an egg on the back of someone's face. But then again, in this political climate, it isn't. And look, there are people there who are who are on his side and this this guy's filming it yeah i've just seen the footage of the fraser anning egging anning reacts by assaulting the young man the police are now obliged to a charge anning he tweeted i've been a lawyer for over two decades and in my opinion there's no argument that anning was acting in self-defense yeah i think there is you're a lawyer who cares doesn't mean you know anything about psychology it just means you know how to how to speak well how to write documents and how to spin bs Video footage from the event showed the young man approached Mr. Anning from behind. Yes, see, that's the cowardly thing. And as he spoke to the camera in front of him. So, you know, I won't go through the rest of this article. It's just going to repeat more and more. We said we've got some footage here of the people holding him down. 
putting him in chokehold to restrain him. You know, okay, that's a bit bit over the top, but, you know, what, what do you know? He's an independent senator. It's not like he's going to have real security. He's going to have – these guys are probably all bouncers. Oh, well, nah. Okay, old dude isn't. Okay, maybe not. These guys are. Look at them. It's the same people, but you know what I mean. So let's have a look. Oh, and they're going to about his statement there. Let's have a look at some historical precedent. Okay, we'll look at some historical precedent. Now, this is Billy Hughes, former Prime Minister of Australia, the Right Honourable Billy Hughes. This is him being carried in the streets after World War I, after returning from the Paris Peace Conference. Now, over 100 years ago now, an assault happened or an incident happened in Warwick, here in Queensland, not too far from Brisbane. I was there the other day. And... uh, Let's read through the Australian Federal Police a bit about the history. So the AFP began operations on 19th of October 1979. Federal policing in Australia can trace its origins to the closing stages of World War I to an incident when Queensland police would not follow the directions of Prime Minister William Hughes. On the 29th of November 1917, while campaigning to introduce military conscription, Hughes was the target of eggs thrown by protesters when he arrived at the Warwick Railway Station in southern Queensland. Prime Minister Hughes was incensed that the attending Queensland police would not arrest the offenders under federal law. So when he returned to Parliament, he set about drafting legislation to create the Commonwealth Police Force. The Warwick incident was the last straw for the Prime Minister, who was engaged in a range of jurisdictional struggles with the Queensland government. At the time, while the CPF operated for only two years, it was the first time the Australian government clearly recognised that it needed a law enforcement agency at the federal level. During the following years, a variety of federal agencies were formed to meet the government's law enforcement needs, including in those agencies were the Commonwealth Police, Federal Capital Territory, which was formed in 1927 after federal parliament was installed in Canberra. In time, this organisation was renamed the Australian Capital Territory Police. So... The danger with throwing eggs at politicians is that it's created a wealth of additional bureaucracy in the past. There's a precedent for it. Now, what do you think? Do you think Anning's behavior was appropriate? Do you think it was statesmanly? Remember when, we'll have a look here. Remember when this gentleman headbutted Tony Abbott during the marriage debate. You know, look at this guy. I mean, it's a, he's a walking stereotype. And Abbott appeared on, you know, we don't really care about him, but Abbott appeared on radio and said, um, uh, a fellow sung out to me, hey, Tony. I turned around. There was a chap wearing a vote yes badge. Abbott told the radio station. He said, I want to shake your hand. I went over to shake his hand. Then he headbutted me. He wasn't very good at it. I got to say, but he did make contact. The only damage was a very, very slightly worn, swollen lip. Okay? So, you know, Abbott copped it. But remember, this was an attack from the front. An attack from the back, I think, is a bit different psychologically. Your reflexes kick in. Your fight or flight mechanism kicks in. I don't know. I I think it's all going to be... I hope, I really hope for this young lad, it is not blown out of proportion... And it doesn't go. It isn't dragged through the courts, and it's not. He's not churned up by the lawyers and the people who want to use him for political purposes. He he should. He should apologize to Anning. Anning should apologize to him, and they should both just move on like men. That's what should happen. If it's dragged through anything else, it's just gonna turn into a world of pain, and it's all for nothing. I wouldn't advocate for anyone to politically, you know, to assault people with eggs or anything. Any acts of violence for political purposes, it's pointless. It doesn't really facilitate any discussion. And um, let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think. Love Anning, hate Anning, indifferent to him. What do you reckon? Should he have copped an egg? Should it have been a whole carton? Should it have been, you know, a bag of sausages? I don't know. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ding the bell to see my daily updates. And I'll see you all again later. Bye for now.